Yo, don't forget to download the White Bone app. Hey y'all, Ryan Olson here, White Bone Creations. Before this film starts, I want to say a very special thank you to everyone who has downloaded the White Bone Creations app. As promised, there is a whole bunch of content going up there that is not on YouTube. And again, as promised, I will share a G-rated version of whatever I can on YouTube because I never ever want to lose that audience. Enough of that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this film. When was the first time you knew you wanted to hunt bison? Uh, Mid-70s. Just in a casual conversation with uh, Ron Moret. He kind of brought up the fact it'd be cool to shoot an iconic Americana critter like a bison. But it stayed in my mind for forever. And one day, it just hit me. I, God, I got to do that. I think I learned more with uh, Steve Ranella. The American bison. Correct. I learned more about that animal ever dreamed of. But after that, I just confirmed the fact that got to do it. Just amazing animal. Truly, truly. For sure. And blessed to do it. I mean, I feel so honored beyond words. Y'all, as far back as I can remember, Uncle Bud has wanted to hunt a bison. Now, going way back in my youth, I worked for an outfitter out of Wyoming who had a very close personal friend who ran the hunting operation over at the Dismal River Club. Fast forward some 20 years and we find ourselves right in the sand hills of Nebraska looking for a bison. I remember feeling a bit overwhelmed with the facility, the staff, and the atmosphere, and then having all that change instantly when we finally got our heads around, hey, tomorrow we start hunting. Once we had checked everything into our very beautiful, very private rooms, we drove down to the shooting range just to make sure everything was zeroed. It was a 20 hour drive and you just never know what happens along the way. With Bud good and comfortable with that open sight 4570, we headed back to the lodge for a beautiful dinner a great big fire. We were anticipating weather and we were so excited for the next day. We have fire, baby! <laughs> like an answer to prayer, we woke up the next morning at first light and we had about an inch of snow on the ground, which just made the whole thing feel super special. After breakfast, we load up in the truck and we head out to see if we can find some bison. sounds. As deaf as I am, I can still hear them. Huh? <laughs> it wasn't long and Colton, our guide, had us looking over a couple of hundred different bison. We were a little bit post-rut, and once those bulls are done breeding, they slip off into the trees, get real solitary, and just stay in there, and you can't get them out of the timber. For Bud and I, it was just crazy fun to see how many cows and calves, young bulls, and just how many healthy bison are living in this area. This herd's about 25 years old, and man, uh, it's just special when you're there chasing them and you see them doing really, really well. We had a full day of hunting. We headed back to the lodge, saw some beautiful deer on every piece of land we looked at. We got a great night's sleep and we're going to try it again tomorrow. Morning. Nice, it's warmed up though. It's 27 degrees. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect.
on day two, we looked over more bison than we did the previous day. Truth is, we had to come to grips with the reality that those bulls were not going to come out of that timber. They weren't going to come out until the feed dried up in there, some weather came in, and pushed them back up on top. So we decided to go for a little walk, make the best of our day, and plan on a return trip. But I thought you were chasing live ones. Much easier. <laughs> <laughs> the pack out's better. <laughs> they don't move real fast. <laughs> well, we'll see you in a month or two or whatever. We're back. We are. We knew instantly on the return trip that a few things had changed. It was bitter cold, the wind was blowing, and the big river bottom where these old bulls live, the feed had dried up and they had worked their way back up on top. So by the time we got into the area we could hunt bison in, it was the polar opposite of the last trip. We were seeing lots of bison and we were seeing lots of big bulls. At that point, we were just taking a little inventory. So when Bud said, that's the one right there, we gathered up our stuff, had the wind in our favor, and we were gonna try and get it done right now. We're taking no chances on this trip. He's the lead bull, y'all. Bud's gonna hit him, reload, and hit him again. We do not want this bull to get down to that river. Well, I've always said it's always thinking about it, dreaming about it. It's a special part. Oh, yeah. It really is. Yeah. And you know, once it's done, it's like there's a small party that's like, shoot. I wish it wasn't over. Yeah. 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 Amazing, amazing trip. This place is phenomenal. Unreal. You want to hunt a bison like this? Man, this is the place to go. No doubt. And a lot bigger than I thought they were. <laughs> Just an iconic, beautiful animal. The Desmond River, number one in my book. Hey, Uncle Dick, biggest chore for your knife so far. Beautiful American bison, working wonderful. Thank you, love you. Fast forward 24 hours and this entire bison was butchered, wrapped, and frozen. This is a top-notch operation, y'all. Okay, you know the deal. Please remove your hat. I'd like to close in prayer. Lord, thank you for giving us dominion over the animals to utilize and protect. The chase for these critters is our excuse and reason for spending time with one another. Fantastic adventures and clean food. What an incredible design. Thank you for the challenges the obstacles, long travel, the education and healing that comes with real struggle. Thank you for purposeful, successful actions and the time spent in the outdoors. And it's in your name we pray. Amen.